Hi guys, welcome to volume 18. Carmine from New York teaches photography. Wow, volume 18. We're really moving along. Got a lot to say. 48 years of my experience. I want to give to you guys. Uh, let you know everything that's going on from the past in photography and the present. And who knows about the future. So today uh, I want to uh, teach you guys that you can do something to your photographs that was done done back a hundred years ago it was hand coloring black and white photographs so do you remember uh, you, you if you saw a picture of a person it was obviously a black and white picture but they had blush on they had rouge on their cheeks or lipstick wow or or a landscape picture that had a blue sky obviously it was a black and white picture but to make it more artistic to make it more beautiful and in the case of a professional photographer to increase sales they had artists that would colorize black and white photos now they were done by hand with you know tiny artist brushes but today everybody out there can do the same thing with a program i bought this program they didn't give it to me. I'm not a sponsor. I'm not sponsored by them. I bought it myself. It's called Luminar. Luminar 4. Luminar 4 is a post-production uh, software that you purchase. And you can do amazing things with it. Uh, they have artificial intelligence that will uh, beautify your photographs just with one click of the button. But I want to show you what... Luminar 4 can do for your black and white photos. Now, this is not to say that, well, why don't I just shoot it in color? I don't need to colorize it. No, no, no. No, no, no. This is, remember, photography is an art. This is another branch of artistic photography where you have mostly a, a black and white photo but with a color element let's begin okay this first photo was taken by me uh just in august uh, i used the voigtlander brilliant a 1930 bellows camera with arister 100 film and the developer i used was rodinol okay this is the first photo of today's volume Okay, so what do we have here? This is a black and white photo. All right, this is this is on a low angle. Okay, taking a photograph of the building. Now, what is this building? This is a photographer's home. This is a very famous female photographer named Alice Austin. Her home is right almost under the Verrazano Bridge here in New York. And she was a wonderful photographer on uh, the turn of the century and this is where she lived right now it is a city landmark and museum all about her life her work is in there her cameras are in there and uh, the grounds are open to the public okay so let's let's get into the artistic part of the program uh luminar four a purchase, a purchase, a bull, a, a, something you can buy. It's a program you can purchase to really enhance your photographs. Okay. Now it was the summer. Okay. One of those hazy, sticky, hot New York summers. And you see the sky. Okay. It's really just negative space. Okay. It works fine. Right. This is a, this photograph is fine. I'm bragging. It's my photograph. There's something we can do to it to make it an art piece. Let's take this down. Now, that photograph in Luminar 4, you get this result. Okay. Now, let's take a look at the sky now. Luminar 4, very simple, few clicks, add a sky. You pick out the sky. There's hundreds of skies you can pick from. You buy them in batches of 15 to 25 different skies. 
okay? And you add it. Obviously, a black and white photo, you just click add the sky and the artificial intelligence knows where to stop, where there's a building, where there's trees, and even in between the trees, it knows. So let's compare. We'll just compare the sky at this point. You tell me. You tell me which photograph has more of an artistic flair. Look at the sky. It's the only thing that's different. Everything else remained the same. Same paper. <laughs> Everything. We shot on black and white film. This is a true black and white photograph. All right. It was printed on my Canon Pro 100 printer. <clears throat> but this is what you can achieve. It's Is it new? Well, it's new for this century. But in the past, remember what I said, artists would hand color photographs. So let's bring it back. Okay. And I don't want to hear anybody ever, any photographer say that's cheating. Oh no, it's not. Here's why you have to remember photography is an art. When your famous painters from the 15th century, 16th century, 17th century, when they painted, oh, I don't know, the ceiling of a church or any religious building with, oh, what? Angels with wings that flew? Hmm, was that cheating? Show me an angel with wings. I haven't seen one. It's art. This adds art to your photographs. There's no cheating in photography. The only cheating in photography is when somebody steals your photograph and puts their name on it and says, that's my picture. All right. That Other than that, that's the only cheating. If you want to add a beautiful sky and change a hot, hazy, humid, black and white, negative space sky into beautiful color to a black and white photograph, do it. It's art. There's no limit to your imagination. Let's continue. Okay. It's another example. This is a photograph of a lighthouse here in New York. Uh, the camera I used was 35 millimeter, the Pentax MX. I used Arista 400 speed film. I developed it in D76. Let's take a look. Okay. This is a lighthouse in New York. Okay. It was taken in the summer. And as you can say, see this full foliage. The trees are full of leaves. Okay. Um, there's a few things going on here. We have some natural framing. Okay. These vines and branches. Okay. Naturally frame the subject, which is this beautiful lighthouse. Okay. And what else? Where do you think this is going? This negative space. Okay. <clears throat> it was a hot, again, a hot, hazy New York City summer day. Whether it was early in the morning or in the evening or in the midday, it doesn't matter. It's always hot and hazy in the summer here. Okay. So what could we do to beautify it? You know where this is going. Luminar 4 post-production software for your photography. Okay. So, here we go. Before and after. Okay? Negative space, plain white, foggy, hazy sky. Okay? Now, what do we have? We have added purple hues, pinks, orange, yellows, 
all the way down. With this program, with this software, Luminar 4, with the artificial intelligence, it knows where the sky is through the leaves, even through the tiniest leaves. It knows where the sky is and only add the sky there. Even between the arches where the sky pokes through, even between these um, balusters on this railing, okay, it adds the sky. Photography is art, all right? If, say, you get a client and the client wants their lighthouse photographed, sure, you could do a clinical photograph of the lighthouse, okay? Clinical. There's your photo, all with the white negative space for a sky on a hot, humid, hazy New York summer day. Or you could do this with Luminar 4, with this program. Okay? Remember, this is nothing new, colorizing a black and white photo. Like I said, they used to add rouge and lipstick to portraits, to black and white portraits. Only That was only in the 1940s. Okay? Let's continue. Okay, the next photograph was taken again this August, hot, hazy day. Uh, I used the Yashica D. Okay? Yashica D is a medium format camera. The film was HP5+. Plus. The developer was D76, one-to-one. -one. Okay. So, here we have a landscape photograph. Okay. So, uh, you can even see here I left... Uh, I like this once in a while to leave the border of the actual film uh, as part of the artwork. Okay. It's something different. It's not good on every picture. You shouldn't do it on every picture, especially if a client's paying you <laughs> for your work. But if they want it on there, you can leave that on there. Full frame, obviously. It's the full negative. So let's move on. Uh, what we have going on here is we have some natural framing. All right, we have two trees framing this one little tree here that's dead, obviously. Okay. And... What do we have? We have the sky that shows a little bit of cloud here, right? Storm may have just passed. If I remember, there's a few clouds here and here and here. Okay. But otherwise, hot, hazy, summer day in New York, you get this kind of a sky. Okay. When you're exposing for your dark areas here and here to, make sure to, to show every blade of grass here in the field, right? You're going to get this kind of sky. But, ooh, what can we do to make it better? Oh, I know. Luminar 4 software. Okay. This is Luminar 4. Uh, post-production sky added to the same photograph okay this is the before okay all this white hazy you can when you look at this one you can even feel the hot hazy day that it was with this kind of a sky but then you add this kind of a sky. It's still a black and white photograph. This is this has not changed. Everything, all your subjects are all still black and white. But with one click, you've colorized your photograph. Remember, this is art. Just like when a famous 15th, 16th, 17th century artist added wings or cherubs with wings or pegasuses 
flying horses. It's beautiful art. This is your art. You do what you want. If you want to change your black and white landscape photographs, which are fine, if you want to add splashes of color by colorizing the sky like this to make it much more pleasing. Now, the beauty about this program, Luminar 4, is that now, once you get the program, it's not that much money, and you've purchased... It comes with a few clouds, built-in cloud formations. But they sell packs, different packs, stormy clouds, sunsets, sunrises, okay? Once you buy a few packs of clouds, you have an enormous palette of colors to add to your photographs, okay? Before and after. What am I getting at? When you go out into the field and you go out, and you start taking photographs, no matter what the photograph is, as long as you leave some sky, okay? As long as you leave some sky, you know in your head, hey, I can add a nice storm. I can add a nice sunrise. I can add a sunset. I can add lightning, okay? This is art. This is art. Just like they used to colorize photographs in the day, adding rouge and lipstick to a portrait, a black and white portrait, you can do the same thing with a few clicks of the button of Luminar 4. Okay? A nice before and after picture. Okay? So when you go out into the field and you're doing your photographs, keep it in mind. Say, hey, I'm going to find a photo where I can really emphasize later at home. Once I load the photo into the computer, I know I can add clouds. Now, you can also add clouds to your black and white photographs. And then just click the other button, black and white conversion, and it will keep the clouds but convert everything to black and white, even the clouds. And guess what? Nobody will know. This obviously, okay, black and white picture with colored sky, it was manipulated by you, the photographic artist. But if you click on Luminar 4, convert the whole picture to black and white after you've added the clouds, then this becomes black and white also. And you know what? Nobody will know. Okay, last picture I want to show you. This was taken by me this fall, I, th I believe. Yeah, this fall. Now, this one I'm going to show you. I only have, it came out so good, I didn't keep the black and white one. Okay, here we go. Okay. Now, what do we have here? We have a black and white photograph. Okay. Leading lines. This long pier taking you to the subject, the gazebo. Okay. I added with Luminar 4. Okay. Colorized the sky. Now this sky, there was no clouds. There was nothing. This bird was there. But you picked the right... Um, background cloud from your collection of luminar clouds. You had the right one. And also, I wanted to mention that this program, Luminar 4, it has the ability to put reflections, if especially if there's water, to reflect a little bit of the artificial clouds onto your water. Okay, giving it more realistic look. And you look, and it knows. You can fully adjust if the horizon, okay, if they, for some reason, the artificial intelligence in the program puts the clouds too low, actually, into your water, you can fully adjust it. There's, there's sliders for your horizon. Fix the horizon, and it moves it up. Okay. Uh, let's say, here's another example. Let's say... Uh, 
this photograph only this say this was my subject this lamp post and this section of the railing say this was show up and because you chose to keep the background blurry right to make it uh, part of bokeh okay once you add your clouds right now it'll be sharp so it would look out of place because your gazebo here is out of focus because it's part of your um, bokeh all right you can defocus your clouds on a slider you defocus defocus until it matches the same bokeh as your background blur it's an amazing amazing program I've used it now for about two years. Um, every six months, I'll buy another a new pack because they come out with new cloud packages. Um, they're like I don't know nineteen dollars, say for a new package of clouds. So I have one that says red skies. I have another one that says nature's fury. It's these are actual. Um, they're actual clouds. Um, lightning. I have another one, sunrise. Another one, California sunrise. Uh, California sunsets. And it's just to add a little bit of that colorized photograph look. All right, guys. We've gone 21 minutes. I hope you guys uh, picked up something today. Okay. Uh, it's my pleasure to show you these little tips and tricks, if you will, uh, that I learned on my own, okay? Um, because when I went to photography school, there was no processing your photographs on a computer. In fact, when I went to photography school from uh, 73 to 76, 77, uh, the, if you looked up, what a computer was, it, it said something like a person that does mathematics. So, okay. Uh, this has been volume 18. Coming from New York, teaches photography. I want to thank you for joining me today. Uh, I ask a favor of you. Please subscribe. Uh, comment below. Hit the like button. Visit my website, callmytaverna.com, uh, and email me. I've gotten about uh, with the Thanksgiving over the Thanksgiving uh, holiday weekend, that four day weekend, I got about nine really good emails that uh, I'm going to go through and we're going to have another question and answer segment coming up uh, maybe this week. And we'll go over the questions that people emailed me. Okay, guys. So remember. Photos have been hand-colored, photographic colorization. It was a profession back in the 20s and 30s and 40s where people would add lipstick and rouge to portrait pictures. Okay, now you can do the same thing. And to me, when you have both, both genres in one photograph, a black and white photograph and a color photograph together, homogenized together. Not too many people are doing this because they either don't know how to do it or they don't have the program or they just are unaware that you can have this type of art just by using the program. All right, guys, Luminar 4. It's another one. Another before and after. All right, guys, have a great day. Remember, if you can't sleep, watch this video. I might put you to sleep. Bye-bye.